Hello Pisces. Welcome to your tarot reading. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates, what makes sense and fits for you. Whatever doesn't, please just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here before. And let's get right into this Pisces. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here we go. Let's take a look at the past and then we'll move forward. All right. Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. So in the past, you may have been really waiting here, waiting for things to happen, waiting for things to come in when it comes to, or uh, when it came to this relationship. Uh, it was almost like this person really wasn't uh, measuring up. They weren't giving what was needed here. They weren't being thoughtful. They weren't putting into the connection here. This is someone who could have been really lazy, Pisces, very lazy. They weren't understanding. They weren't really like getting the message. What needs to happen here? What we need to do here? What I need from you? There's a lot of disappointment here. Felt like things just weren't clicking. Okay, this person could be really ruthless, cold. This is a heartbreaker here. Okay, this is someone who's really cold with their words. This is someone who just wants to win. But there's a lot of this just, just waiting, waiting for things to grow, waiting for things to expand. Let's get a little more here. Okay, right now, happy, moving forward path is clear here making a choice choosing happiness trying to relieve burdens and stress and weight you may feel like you have a decision to make here pisces and that you want to choose you you are choosing your happiness there's definitely a breakup here or separation for some of you you may not be speaking with your person all right there still may be feelings involved here but no matter what you're moving forward here and trying to focus here with awareness on what you want to make happen your dreams your goals especially when it comes to love i do see a new start here as well so we have leo we have gemini aquarius scorpio taurus leo let's take a look here all right what you're attracting well this is excitement this is communication this is learning certain things here that you need to learn, but you're enjoying the process all the way through. So this could be a spark with someone. Let's keep going here. Okay. Family. Stability. Focusing on the future here. Commitment, determination, hard work. But seeing it pay off, this is what you're attracting. You being able to be happy, you having a family, whatever happily ever after is for you, whatever happiness is for you when it comes to your vision and love, this is what you're attracting here. Being able to be a team, being able to work together, being able to communicate and get things done together. Someone who understands that certain things need to come out into the light. They need to be worked on. We can't just focus on the negative. We can't focus on what we don't have. We can't focus on what we wish we did have. But you can focus on what's still possible. You can focus on what's still standing. You, on your feet, with all the possibilities that are out there. Sometimes you just have to cross a bridge. You just have to take those steps. There's still so much possible. It's never too late to begin or to begin again. Going back to that fresh start. I feel like what you're attracting is peace. Paying attention to your heart space here and how you really feel. So I definitely see a fresh start. It feels like there was once a, or there's a pause. There's a delay here for some of you, but I do see you moving forward with this person, especially if there is no contact. Things may be really quiet right now, but I do see things starting up again. There's strength here. There's feelings here. So this may just be a break. 
But I see you attracting a lot of happiness here when it comes to love with someone that you have this spark with, you have this deep connection with, and you want more with. Let's let's get a little more. Okay. For Pisces. What you need to know, this may be a time to take action. There may be a new way, a new direction on how to do so. It's all about being clear. It's all about making a choice. But making a choice with clarity here. Some of you may have a really tough choice when it comes to what to choose, which direction. When it comes to this beginning... But in the end, I do see you feeling fulfilled and happy here where you've put in so much work. See, there's the new start. There's that fresh start. There's that new beginning. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be action here. Like it's like you're going to step up here. Someone's going to reach out, be the bigger person here, make a serious choice here. This is what you need to know. Someone's heart is heavily invested in you. Someone here may feel confused, feel like things are unclear, that pause, that delay, there's a standstill, certain cycles here are ending, but it feels like you and this person are going to move forward to the next chapter. There's definitely love here, taking care of this connection, nurturing it, paying attention to it, offering real love with clear intention, right? That action, wielding it with strength and clarity. This is what you need to know. There's happiness here ahead. All right, stable, foundation, built together. It takes a lot of time, but it feels like you guys are getting round to it. There's a lot of strength here with you and this person. So let's see. All right, who else do we have here? Uh, we pretty much have the same here. You have Pisces here. You have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Okay, Leo. Aquarius. So yeah, so pretty much the same. Let's, let's see. Let's get some more messages for you. Message for Pisces, please. What do they need to know? Okay. Pisces, your number is 666. A wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts. So you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. You are centered. This is a time to be center, centered. This is a time to have peace. This is a time to move forward. When you take action here with this new start, with this clarity here, because there is a lot of feelings invested. There's a lot of uh, attachment. There's a lot of wanting this to grow, wanting more to happen. So there may be a wake up call here that someone is having. And it's giving you a lot to think about. It's giving you a lot to reexamine, to reevaluate here, right? With that hermit card, that is deep thought. There's a lot here to look at, to really look into. But overall, with this happiness here, with the growth here, with the hard work here, it's like the two of you really want to have a family together. The two of you may have even been talking about marriage, like it was really serious here. Someone is having a wake up call and I feel like this is a time where you and this person are rising up not only to the next chapter in life, but a more positive frequency here because there is love here. Taking some space and time. Some of you. Please only take what resonates to you. Okay. So 666 might have a really important message for you, Pisces. Uh, look it up. See what message your eyes are drawn to. Okay. Okay. There it is. What you need to know. The rabbit hole, crazy drama makes for wild adventures, but not peace. How far are you willing to go? How far are you willing to go when it comes to your happiness? This may be a wake up call. Okay. What you need to know. Don't lose sight of this truth. 
You came here to evolve and grow. So it's necessary to experience the difficult times. That's when you will grow the most. There is always light at the end of a dark tunnel. Getting out of that rabbit hole. Getting out of the disappointment. Getting out of the mundane. Getting out of what always just seems to just be what it is and you're just not feeling it. This is a time to focus on what you want for yourself. This picture here. What it looks like to you. There's always light at the end of that tunnel, no matter how dark it may be. Don't lose sight of this truth. Difficult times will pass. Sometimes it's just the wake-up call that we need. Okay, let's see. Let's get a little more. Pisces, we're going to pull from the top and then we'll look at the bottom. Okay, let's see what we get here. Message for Pisces. Ooh, okay, hold on. Message for Pisces. The chase. <laughs> Preparation. Relentless pursuit. And victory as well. Not giving up. Not giving up. You and this person are really focused and dedicated here. Like you just don't want to give up. Deja vu. Past life. Karmic lessons. There are some patterns here that are being repeated. But it feels like you guys are so committed here. Again, it's, it's, this is a roller coaster ride. That's what it feels like. But there's a lot of truth here when it comes to the feelings that you two have for each other. Yeah, vows, commitment, fidelity, promises, a wake up call. All right, let's get a little more. Message for Pisces, please. All right. Talk less. Feel more. Being honest about the way you feel. Being honest about this situation here. There may be a lot of truth, a lot of clarity that's needed for you and this person. Because there's been a lot of talk. But it's almost like it's getting nowhere, like it's not breaking through. And it feels like you both want it to break through. So maybe there needs to be more of a feeling here to really connect, to really understand not only how you're feeling, how the other person is feeling, because again, there's so much here, so much invested here. Release control. Leave the past behind. Release control. Okay. Not letting the past influence your future and the possibilities that are there for you. You and this person have a past life connection. Someone here is asking why. Why the silence? Why the treatment? Why the break? Why? They're confused. They have a lot of questions. They don't know. They're unclear. They're unsure. Let's look at the bottom here. There's a change in the wind. Change in direction. It may feel like you're stuck in between two worlds. You're suspended and there's a need for clarity, a need to Understand that change can be a beautiful thing, even if it can be a little fearful. So a lot may be changing here for you with this wake-up call, Pisces, especially if it's your person who's had the wake-up call. Definitely feels like there's a pause here and someone is just really like, Wanting to know more, needing to know more, needing to know why, what's going on. Let's get one more message here. But there will be a relentless pursuit. Okay. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. Personal choice. Pisces, close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace these qualities. There's a choice here to be made. It may be yours, your personal choice. There may be a lot of challenges right now that you are facing with this person. It's definitely a stillness. There's definitely like a needing to breathe and needing to have the, the, the silence to give that breath of fresh air, to see clear, to leave the past behind, to really listen, to really feel more of what's important here, to absorb all the lessons that you two have been learning here. In this relentless pursuit, there's a change in the wind. It may be your choice. Okay. All right, Pisces, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Pisces, take care. Bye.